Okay, so today I want to uh, talk about macros and we're also gonna record a simple macro here. A macro is essentially a, um, a command or a series of commands that can be accessed through uh, clicking a single button or calling a macro to a command line. Um, they can be very simple or very complicated um, and they can really save you a lot of time when you are programming. Um, a big show will have, um, you know, in some cases hundreds of macros and like every function is controlled from a macro. So let's make a super simple macro here. As you can see, I have my macros window here. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to go store. You will now see that's on my command line. And I'm just going to tap anywhere here. Okay, great. So it's now empty. There's nothing in here. So I'll um, left click this, drag down. I'll have all of these options and we will go to edit. Okay, great. So now we are in edit macro one. I'm going to go insert new macro line and I can now tap the spacebar on my keyboard and I can add the command. Um, and this is essentially you are going to add in the command uh, section here, um, uh, basically what you would type into the command line. So I'm going to make a macro that will store Q time three. Okay, so this will store a Q with a fade time of three. Um, so hit enter. And let's close out of it. Okay, great. So now let's, um, as you can see, I have a, a window up in here with my um, uh, sequence here. It's pretty small. Let me uh, actually make it a little bit bigger. I'll just drag it there so that way you can actually see it. Um, and if we go over here, you should be able to see the fade there. So now I'm going to select my fixtures. I'm going to put them at 100, and I'm just going to go to this here. Great. Okay, so it started here. Now, I notice it actually didn't put a fade time in, um, and this is actually because I um, made a little uh oh here, and I didn't do this right. So this is actually really important. You have to c recreate the command exactly as it appears in the command line. So while I might hit the time key, so let me go back up here when I'm storing a queue. Right, I would normally go store queue whatever time notice how it doesn't put time it puts q fade so now let's go in and let's edit this macro edit so i'm going to edit this and i'm going to put store q um q fade is that what it was was it q fade three now i'm second guessing myself store q Yes, it was Q-Fade. Okay, great. All right. So now what we can do is we can go, let's go there. Let's hit this macro. Great. And now it's actually worked, as you can see here in Q number eight here. Uh, it put the duration as three. Okay, so let's say I want to make a macro that will store something, um, but I want to be able to adjust the time. I don't just want a three, you know, second time here. So. Let's go select the fixtures. We'll put them at full there in the fan out preset. Let's put them in blue with like a gobo in them. Yeah. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to store another macro and store, or you could even just copy this one if you wanted. Go to edit, new command line. Okay. So I'm going to go store Q, Q fade okay and now here this is interesting i want to add this to the command line i don't because i want to be able to add another part of it so i'm going to hit yes and i'm also i don't want this to execute right away so i'm going to go to now okay now let's go out of here so let's do that again okay and you see how it put that down here but it didn't actually put the queue in yet because we haven't specified our fade time so now I can go and add a fade time of three please okay now I can go over here into nine and it sort of worked oh there's no duration there I did something wrong um yeah so I, it's because um the macro here if we go here we're gonna need to actually add a space there in order for it to work um you can't just apply it over because MA um uh, every like word that you put in the command line is taken in as one word it can't like automatically tell uh separate things right there so you could probably put a you could put an extra space here and that would uh 
fix that issue there for you. So store Q Q fade. Enter. Okay, great. Okay, so and now let's just name this. So label it um, store no time and then store time three great and so now we have these two macros and you can make macros with literally anything if it can go in the command line it can go in a macro so you can make one that recalls specific presets that selects multiple groups you can make one that selects like um all your uneven fixtures um you know and you can um, use that same syntax edit and you can add multiple lines here as well you don't you're not just limited to one you could um create a second macro line or you know even you can just keep going on and you would have so many you could um you could literally queue a whole show with macros and some people some people do uh use macros uh when there are you know recording massive shows and they basically macros do all the work uh, so again a really really handy feature to have and there are lots more of those types of features in ma so be sure to hit that subscribe button and you'll be the first person to know about all these videos that i make on ma and other programs uh talking about uh fun uh fun things like that and just general lighting mischief as well